Well, hello knife enthusiasts and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm really sorry, I apologize in advance, um, because I noticed that, I re that I've really uh, neglected my, uh, my potential English-speaking viewers, because they, there were no English-speaking videos in the past month or, so, of bleh, month or so. I'm really sorry for that, but I'm trying to make it up um, with this video. As the title already says, it's another traditional knife that I got to show you. Um, and I think it's a pretty special knife. It's a Great Eastern Cutlery slash Tidude Cutlery, number 53, Muskrat. What a unique kind of knife. I'm sorry that was my dog, and he's kind of sniffing around on the <clears throat> under the camera. Number 53 muskrat, a cigar, a large cigar pattern um, with cherry red uh, jig bone covers and two identical muskrat clip point blades. And this is kind of unique because such a redundancy in blades is uh, not something you see very often in traditional pocket knives. In, like, let's say, Stockman's or Moose patterns, you usually have two different blade styles. You have a, a large clip point, a regular clip point blade, and maybe a spade blade or a sheep's foot blade or something. Um, in this specific knife, you have two identical uh, clip point blades. Um, this has a specific reason, I suppose, but that's, that's information I only got off the internet, so don't uh, hold me to it. Um, well, the story goes that knives like these were developed for trappers, um, especially for um, trappers who were trapping muskrats. And um, the fur of muskrats is supposedly pretty dirty, and as you're processing uh, the fur and, and skinning the animal, um, your blades dull pretty easily. And it seems that the, uh, the trappers were simply tired of uh, sharpening their knives or having to sharpen their knives while they were still processing an animal. Um, so knife makers came up with a solution. They just produced a blade uh, configuration, which uh, or a knife with a blade configuration that has two identical um, muskrat clip point blades on each end or on either end. This kind of makes sense to me because these muskrat clips. Um, I suppose, are very useful in hunting and skinning tasks um, because they are so narrow you can do really small radius cuts with it and um, these large clip portions allow you to put your finger on top of, of it and skin the animal without piercing the skin with the actual very needle nose, uh, needle, needle nose, <clears throat> the very needle fine tips. This knife, or this exact knife, was made in 2008, and it was serialized, as you see here, this one's the number 48 of 49 made, and I'm um, kind of happy to own a serialized um, Great Eastern Cutlery, which I... Um, this one's not serialized, and my other uh, number 72 is also unserialized one. Now I own one with a serial number, um, and I kind of like that. Manufacturing on this knife is pretty damn excellent, really. If you look at the back springs and the liners, there are no gaps. Really, there is no... you can't find any. I, I, I shine the light through it, but I really can't do it now because my light just... yeah, it actually broke, but I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but I really can tell you there are no gaps nowhere. From front to back, this is completely dead tight. Um, what else can you say? Blade centering on both blades is absolutely perfect. As you can see here and here. And the ends of the back springs are also absolutely straight across. That's really nice. And remember, this is a Tidio branded knife. So... Um, these knives are made really to, to work, to do work with. Um, I, I, I'd expect this kind of manufacturing quality from a Northfield branded knife. Um, 
but still in the Tidiot line, this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the transitions from bolsters to, to scales is very smooth. All eight transitions are really... F yeah, there's this one you might catch a finger on a bit, a tiny bit on the edge, but that's basically it. All other seven transitions are really smooth. The jig bone covers are really beautiful. It's a kind of a, a rugged, rugged jigging pattern, but I like it a lot in these dark red bone scales. Hey, could you stop gnawing on the table? Hey, stop it. Yeah, my dog's kind of bored. <laughs> I should walk him a bit more. <laughs> um, the pinned in shield is absolutely flawlessly executed. There are no gaps, nothing to, to be seen here. You have um, you have two like easy open notches to access the nail nicks of the blade. And this is also pretty cool because here you can see how deep the color goes into the bone when they dye it. So about yeah, about a millimeter or something. And under it it's actually white, as bones yeah supposed to be. <laughs> Um, the two clip point blades, the grinds are absolutely even. Um, I resharpened and re reprofiled um, the edge angles a bit to about 40, 40 degrees inclusive. Um, the blades are super sharp, 1095 carbon steel. Please stop it. I know you're bored. We just, I just have to finish this video. <laughs> um, 1095 carbon steel. Um, really nice and sharp. Um, the walk and talk is excellent. No half stops on this model. Um, but there's no grit or anything. The blades snap into place, open and close very securely and positively. Although I always like that on my knives. If springs are a bit stiff, pull weight on these is about a seven, I'd say. Yeah. So it's absolutely easy to get out with a fingernail. No issues there. Overall, I'd have to I have to admit I I was a bit surprised when I got it because the <clears throat> the overall blade to handle ratio, not lengthwise, but the overall uh, appearance of these muskrat clips is so is so narrow and so delicate and then you have this hefty kind of uh, cigar shaped handle to it um, but well <clears throat> you have to get this knife in hand but I actually like it it's it's about four on uh, four ounces so it's a pretty hefty blade um, but somehow these narrow clip points really match this this handle well in the end I can't tell you why you would have to, to get it in hand yourself I really like this um, I also find these muskrat clips to be pretty practical in everyday use because they are so narrow um, if you were to do really hard work with this knife you would get no kind of hot spots of blade sticking out like if this was a sheep's foot blade this would stick out at least half an inch or so um, and this would put pressure inside your fingers but because these are two muskrat, two narrow muskrat clip point blades um, None of these stick out, so the handle is very comfortable in any kind of grip um, position. So that's really a plus for, for everyday use. Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. And before my dog starts just destroying my, my furniture here, I think we'll call that good. I'll give you just a quick close up again of these beautiful beautiful red jig bone scales and these absolutely flawlessly put together knife it's just it's wonderful i love great eastern cutlery blades well you could you could argue that the you you see the pins here but um well i don't know how you can do it because on the 47 you can barely tell that there's a pin you see it but you can barely tell on the other side you really can't 
and I'm not sure why you can actually see the pins on this model but I really don't care because it's still it's a tidiot knife it's a knife to be to be used to be worked with um, and that's what I'll do in the next few days or weeks or so okay that's it I hope you liked my video um, please comment if you if some of you owns um, one of uh, out of this line so number whatever of 49 and let me know what you think about it I really like it it's a really really nice chunk of well history and um, I don't think that this will leave my pocket uh, too soon okay that's it from me um, I'll, I hope to put out more English videos in the future um, but sometimes I kind of forget because most of my viewers are from Germany. Um, nevertheless, I'll try to. Okay, then thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up if you want to. And then see you in the next video. Bye.